Hi guys, Dan here from Waves. In this video, I want to show you three plugins that you can use to generate a realistic sounding stereo image from single channel mono content. And five plugins that can enhance or exaggerate the impact of width within existing stereo content. So let's jump in, first looking at the three plugins that you can use to transform mono content to exciting and lush sounding stereo content. Now, depending on your DAW, you will need to use a mono to stereo or stereo component plugin. I'm in Pro Tools here, so for mono tracks that I want to instill rich width to, I'll be inserting a mono to stereo component, starting with Doubler, which there are two versions of, Doubler 2 and Doubler 4, which has four voices. For this demonstration, we'll only need Doubler 2 with two voices. And the main controls in Doubler enable you to modify gain, pan, delay, and pitch which if dialed in tastefully can produce very pleasing width effects. Okay, let me show you how this works. To achieve this stereoized sound, we use these two voices, one pans hard left, the other hard right. You can see that both voices are symbolized by color here, so red and pink. If you look at the display at the top, we see the same there red and pink, left and right, left being minus 45 on the pan, pink being right, being the other direction at 45. These are our two voices. The main voice at the top here in white, as you can see here on the node, white is up the middle. This will be our unprocessed original mono signal. We can delay these voices back in time slightly. But what I'm interested in for this is to adjust the pitch of these voices. So to have the left voice set to six and the right voice set to minus six. It's a very slight difference there. Obviously the unprocessed hasn't got any tuning at all. So this together gives us the impression of width. If you want to exaggerate that further, you can do one of two things. You can make the difference in pitch here wider, so say minus 10 plus 10, or you can adjust the gain of both of these voices. What you can do very simply, if you want to adjust multiple controls at once in a Waves plugin, you can click and drag, and you can use your mouse wheel up or down, or you can shift click two controls, and again, scroll up and down. Now let's go back around that again and set the level of our new width. Sounds great. And if we want to go a step further, we can apply some basic EQ to our two voices, which again can give us a bit more of an impression of width. A simple way of doing this is just by applying a small high shelf so that the tone is slightly different from the unprocessed signal. Let's hear this. Let's now compare this before and after in the context of the mix. Now, if you like the sound of the doubler effects but need a quicker approach to this style, you could instead reach for an instance of Greg Wells Voice Centric, which provides simpler access to doubling through this single dial. Though if you want this effect alone, be sure to keep the main processing wheel fully counterclockwise. Also turn off the delay and reverb sections as well. So there's two ways of how pitch can instill a sense of width. Let's move on to an alternative method using the PS22 Stereo Maker which instead of pitch uses a variety of evenly spaced frequencies across the spectrum. Now this tricks the ear into perceiving width. The PS22 Stereo Maker is a suite of three separate Stereo Maker plugins which offer slightly different features. PS22 Spread includes a low frequency spread control for widening or narrowing bass frequencies. PS22 Split doesn't include this, Instead, you can set a frequency point with everything lower than that being set to narrow by default. And finally, the PS22X Split, which is a variation of the PS22 Split. Out of these three, my personal preference is the PS22 Spread, as it gives control over the lower end's width. <laughs> Let 
me just quickly explain a little bit further how this works. You'll notice this frequency range is down the side here and the direction of the pan here in yellow. So frequency is around 30 odd hertz over here to the right, 128 hertz to the left and so on and so forth. We can choose how many sweeps we would like. So have it all the way down to two. You'll see that pretty much everything below 8K will be off to the left. Everything above being towards the right. And as we increase the number of sweeps, we get more interesting width effects. And we can use the LF spread control here to narrow the lower frequencies, tweak so that we can move the position of the sweeps ever so slightly up or down. And of course, the spread control for exaggerating the width of this effect. And if we play around with the frequency control here, we can see how that influences the position of the low frequency spread. Now we've got this graphic here that looks like a wine glass. Let's go through this example one more time and hear what it can do. Next, let's take a look at some plugins that you can use for enhancing width in stereo content, which are very helpful in mix bus and mastering applications. Let's start with one of the simplest plugins of this type, the S1 Imager, which uses psychoacoustics to alter the stereo image. S1 also provides a variety of models that differ slightly. My personal preference, and the one I'll be using in this demo, is the S1 Imager, which doesn't just provide control over width, but also rotation. Let's hear what this can do on the backing vocal arrangement in the guitar solo section. Let's push it out wider. Let's narrow it. Very nice and very simple. But if you wanted to go a step further with this technology, you can use Waves Free Studio Rack, which basically has the S1 built in. And a great way of making the most out of this is by using it across multi bands, which Studio Rack has. And at the bottom here, we've got these little W controls that we can use if we click and drag to widen or narrow certain bands. So in this case, everything above 92 Hertz can be wide, everything below can be narrow. Now we published a video on this showing exactly how you can use Studio Rack, which demonstrates this in much more detail. If you want to check that out, click the card at the top right of the screen. Another way that you can use multiband to enhance your stereo image is by using this, Waves Vitamin, which is a very powerful sonic enhancer and tone shaper, which many use to quickly transform any dull sounding mix bus or master. Now it's sonic enhancer credentials lie within these faders here, but I'm more interested in showing you these width controls at the bottom. Like in Studio Rack, we have the ability to change our center crossover frequencies, but I'm gonna keep these in place, take it out of bypass, and hear what we can do width-wise with these controls at the bottom. nice and it's very tasteful. Now let's finish up with two more plugins which include very simple single dial width controls being Infected Mushrooms Pusher and the Abbey Road TG Mastering Chain. Starting with Pusher which is a fantastic tone shaper dynamics processor for mix bus and mastering which includes this control here, Stereo Image. Let's run the example again. I'm just going to wind this in so you can hear what it can do. simple and super musical sounding. Last but no means least, the Abbey Road TG Mastering Chain. And the control we're interested in is on the far right over here by the master output being Spreader. Let's run the example so that you can hear how this sounds.
effects of this spreader are a lot more subtle than the one that you find in Infected Mushrooms Pusher. So you've got two different options there. One may work better than the other, depending on whatever style music you're working on. Anyway, I hope you guys got something from this video. For more information on the plugins featured in this video, do click that card at the top right of the screen, link in the description below. As always, thanks for watching. I'm Dan from Waves, and I'll see you again soon.